this fourth gray crochet and we'll go over ones that are highlighted first so first of all you have to find the quotient in other words division so number one so as i can tell 208 and 8 and 65 and 5 and 5 can never go into 8 because 5 is multiple is 5 10 15 so in other words 5 ends with either 5 or 0 so this tells me that you're gonna have a remainder so first of all let's do 208 divided by 65 so i'm gonna say about 3 then 5 times 3 is 15 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19 you subtract then you'll get 13 so 3 remainder of 13 number 2 again 0 always end with 0 because 20 40 60 all 0 which means that you're gonna have a remainder again 541 divided by, by 20 20 goes into 54 two times which is 40 141 comes down 141 inside you can go seven times so 27 and remainder of one number seven so 36 there will be some possibility because 6 12 18 24 and 30 however you have to be careful about this one so that whether this one can be turned into this well we'll check it out right now 600 divided by 36 I know that 636 times 2 is 72, so it only goes in one time. You subtract, you get 24, 0. Now, you can either multiply by 5 to get equal to 0, then you know that this is 180, so that then this has to be more than 5. And then I'm gonna try 6. 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3, 21. Now if I add 36, will this go in? No. So 36 going to 246 times, which is 116, and remainder of 24. So 16, remainder of 24. Number 10. Again, 5 is 5 or 0, so this one should have remainder. 263 divided by 65. Okay, I'm going to say about 4 times because 6 times 4 is 24. Let's try it out. 5 times 4 is 20. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 2 is 26. Okay, then this should be 4, remainder of 3. Now, number 12. Again, you'll have remainder because 8 times 6 times 24, 32, 40, 48, so on. This 8 will never become 3. So, let's do it. 5, 93. Divide by 58. 58 can go into 59 one times, which is 58. Now you subtract, you get 13. Now, you can't just write one remainder of 13 because you have to specify that 58 can go into 13. And we do that by putting 0. So this should be 10 remainder of 13. Okay. This is another quotient problem. Let's do it. 607 
divide by 25. So if 25 goes to 62 times, because I know that 25 times 2 is 50, you subtract, 7 comes down. Let's say about 4, because 25 times 4 is 100, then you get a remainder of 4. So 24 remainder of 4. Oh, 7. Okay. Number 4. Oh, this one, you have possibility because this one ends with 0. And then I know that 5 times 7 is 35. Let's try it out. 30, 70, divided by 5. As I can see, as you can see, times 7 is 35, 20, and 4. And yes, this one is natural integer, which is 74. Number five, I might use a cheat, which is you're just gonna cancel out zero. The dose cheat is 66. Number nine, so you know that 30 times 10 is 300. Then you can simply know that 10 are eight because you're literally just subtracting 300 and you get 8 as a remainder. Okay, addition. 9,224 plus 1,423. You add, this is 7, 4, 7, 10. So 10, 7, 4, Seven will be your answer. Number six, this is subtracting. Don't mess up because the question will never ask you about, never consistently ask you about addition and subtraction. You have to be careful about the signs. You borrow, this becomes seven, this becomes 13, this becomes eight, five, you borrow again, this becomes 13, four, two. So 2,458. Number 10, 82 times 41. This is 28832. So 2633. So 3,362. Okay, last problem, word problem. So there are 138 people signed up for class on marketing cards. Each group will be had. 13 people, about how many groups will be formed? Okay, so there are 138 people total. And you want 13 people inside each group. You know that 13 times 10 is equal to 130, but you have a remainder, which is 8. But you can't divide 8 by 13 because this means that you're dividing 8 people into 13 pieces which is pretty violent so you don't want to do that so there's no choice but to add one more group so this one will be 11 groups because you don't want to leave these 8 people because they're part of the program but you can't divide 8 people by 13. So you there's no way but to add one more group. So you're just going to add 1 to 10. So your final answer will be 11 groups.